Every day we've been going um, on various trips, trying to learn these big ideas in earth science. So every day we've been addressing one of the big ideas in earth science. Um, and throughout the day we'll go visit different locations and through that lens study uh, a local phenomena going on and trying to kind of learn about those big ideas so that we can take them back, you know, ultimately to our classroom. So what we try to do is visit places where the processes that are happening on Earth are very clearly demonstrated, where we can make measurements of these, where we can think about them and think about all the variables that go into them, how, what makes the Earth work in the way that it does, and to demonstrate this directly. And, and most of these things can be done almost anywhere. They can be done in a schoolyard. And, uh, but you need to demonstrate to people how to do them, sometimes in a place that's more ideally chosen, where processes are very, very clear. And once you do that with uh, the teachers and get them engaged in it and they get exposed to the methods that you can use to teach and to demonstrate these things, then um, they can trans transmit it. These teachers are all very gifted communicators. They, they know about these kinds of things. They just need a little bit of help to point out the way that you do it and the way you connect it with people's lives. I look at it in terms of the units that we study, in terms of the earthquakes unit, the volcanoes unit, uh, the energy resources unit, the water resources unit that we study, which has been a big emphasis this week. You know, I can take things back for those four or five units that we study and, uh, and really be able to apply some questions to my students. Um, and once everything gets put up on the MITEP site, you know, we're able to show them pictures of where we've been this week, uh, you know, apply some of that uh, technology to letting them kind of get a, a glimpse of what we've seen and then applying some questions to them um, in terms of thinking about those topics. So it's a great, great tool uh, for bringing uh, some, you know, real life, hands-on experience back into the room, even though they're not here. The connection with big ideas, the, the connection with misconceptions, and the connection with the out of doors, the sense of place, the fact that where you communicate things makes a huge difference because of the impression of the out of doors. This is something that's very fundamental to uh, people for all the time they've lived on Earth. They chosen to be in certain places. They understand the power of a place and that's important to teaching. You know, having some student peer accountability is actually, it's increased the participation a lot um, and in the engagement within the material, which is, for me, I, I see where I work, that being one of the biggest things is I just need to in increase and get kids just engaging with the material um, because if you're not engaging with it, there's really no way to learn the material. So that's uh, I have seen an increase in that. Uh, engaging people and communicating with people one-on-one -on -one and making them initiate the, the learning inquiry, and teachers are perfect for that. They will ask you questions all day and engage you, and that's what you want in this kind of inquiry-based uh, sort of training. They're a great group of people. Many of the teachers we have in this program are master teachers. And that makes it even better. It's really the fundamental basis of what we do is, is we start by asking questions in the classroom. We'll have a question of the day, a concept of the day uh, type of thing, and, and, then, and then roll through the lesson in that sequence. So, and, it, and you know, it develops critical thinking skills. You know, you know, something that was lost a lot on the rote learning path that I know I took as a student when I was younger was the critical thinking skills. We we were memorizers of material, which can be good. I mean, there's certain things that are great to memorize, vocabulary and different concepts, but uh, the critical thinking and thinking like a scientist is obviously what we're aiming for through what we do and obviously through this, this initiative with Michigan Tech as well is to help, you know, really just engage the students in a process where they become better questioners, better critical thinkers in terms of what they see. Most of science is not black and white. Most of it is in this unresolved kind of state, and that's a really good thing for students to realize. That's the fun of it. That's the creativity 